Stayallday.com. All right, so back in with another drill series mixtape. So what you're about to watch here is just a series of drills that I did in a workout where usually there's some basic theme to what I'm working on, some certain area of the floor maybe, maybe certain type of move I'm working on, or certain type of technique, whether that be footwork, ball handling, shooting, a post move, anything like that. This particular drill series, I'm gonna be working on some moves from the right wing out of the triple threat position, and for the most part, I'm gonna create an open shots as far as pull up jump shots using two, one, two, and three dribble combinations. So that's basically what I'm gonna be working on in this drill series. Each one of these moves you see me work on in this video will come out as an individual video. Also, any questions any of you got, leave those in the comments. Check out hoophandbook.com for any workout programs you're looking for, individual programs for personalized training. Check out work on your GA.MP. Work on your game, grayallday.com. So I'm catching out of the triple threat here, and I'm going to use my right foot as the jab, use a little rake move. So I'm going to give just a little bit of a shake there as I stay in triple threat position. Make sure that I keep my pivot foot, which is my left foot, down on the floor until that ball leaves my hand. I'm taking one dribble and pulling up for the shot. So I want to see if I can get my defender to get kind of glued to the floor before I release and pick up that that one dribble, pick up my pivot foot, and shoot before he has a chance to recover. Here's I'm catching out triple threat now. I'm using the left foot as the jab step. Same thing, a little rake move. Call it the rake move where you're just using the jab step and a little bit of a shake with the ball. You're shaking with your shoulders, your head, everything gives a little bit of a fake. You want to see if you can freeze your defender really quick, then go before he knows what you're doing. It's just a timing move. Take that one dribble and pull up before they get a chance to recover. Man, that nigga's bum-ass nigga. Man, my nigga Dre Baldwin, man. That nigga be bald, ain't got the handles. You see it on the videos. I don't see why y'all on this. Yeah, I'm going to make that catch. Give a quick shot, fake, jab, step to the right, then attack and one bounce off the left. So I want to try to raise up my defender, raise up when he sees that shot, fake, jab to the right. So get them to move to my right, and then I'm attacking to my left. So I'm using that jab step, using the momentum of that step to the right to propel myself to the left. One dribble and a shot. Catching here, now I'm going to use the left foot as the jab step. Shot fake, jab hard to the left. One dribble and see how I cross over step with that left foot so that the left side of my body, my left hip, left shoulder, everything is protecting the ball. So even if the defender reaches over and lunges, he would have to go through my whole body to get to the ball, which of course would be a foul. It's going to give me the lane to open up and knock down that shot. So after the shot fake and jab step here, I'm going to take a quick little crossover dribble back to the middle of the floor. So let's just say there's a help defender there. Maybe I'm going around the screen. Defender tries to recover really hard. Use a quick crossover dribble. So I'm crossing those kind of like a double crossover, even though that second cross is a little bit tighter. And then I'm pulling up for the shot there after the quick recovery by the defender or the help. Given the shot fake here, I'm gonna jab step with the left foot. Jab hard to the left as I attack to the right. I'm going to use a quick crossover dribble back towards the left. As you can see, it's not as wide of a crossover, so it's a more narrow move. So if the defender has recovered or he has a help defender who steps up there, maybe it's another defender that I crossed over towards. I'm using that crossover to get around that person and then take a quick shot mid range. Give a shot fake and use a hesitation step here. So the shot fake is I dribble through the legs. See that little hesitation I want to use there. I want to keep my hand to the side of that ball. So I'm keeping open the option of continuing my dribble depending on how person on defense reacts to my movement. So use that little step. See if you can get them to back up, respecting the fact that you might drive, and then you pull up as they get on their heels. Hey, witness on the beat. Same thing on this side as I catch him, we give a shot fake dribble the ball through my legs to the left. A little bit of a hesitation set. So step hard with that ball side foot 
keeping your hand to the side of the ball which leaves open the option of you actually dribbling the ball and attacking the basket defender has to respect the fact that you might attack the basket you use the fact that they're respecting it to pull up with an open shot in the triple threat position here I'm going to start my dribble right in front of my foot then I'm going to make a quick step back move you see how I turn my body parallel to the baseline I'm going to use the left foot the nine ball nine ball side foot to you do the actual step back left foot steps in propel myself backwards when I land I'm already in my shooting position with my feet and I'm shooting right there from that spot Catching here, I'm going to dribble the ball over to my left side. One bounce, see how I'm kind of keeping it outside of my foot. So depending on where your defender is, that's where you're going to start your dribble. So you don't have to memorize the move. Using my right foot as a step back foot, stepping in with that right foot right towards my defender's feet. I'm going to propel myself backwards for the step back move. Then I'm raising up for the shot with my feet already ready to shoot by the time the ball comes back up with both hands. From the triple threat position here, I'm going to drop that dribble down right in front of my foot and a quick behind the back bounce and I'm raising straight up for the shot. So of course this is all contingent on how your defender's playing you. You can go to the other side if the defender's overplaying you a certain way or use other techniques depending on how close the defender is. One drop of the ball right out of my hands and quickly behind the back, raise up and shoot before they have a chance to react. Notice that, that those feet are set by the time that ball comes up to the hand, you're already ready to shoot. This time going to the left. Be able to do your jab moves using either foot as the jab foot, either foot as the pivot foot. Dropping that dribble in the left hand quickly behind the back. Notice how I hop the feet into shooting position so that by the time that ball gets up to my hands and the dribble is discontinued, I'm already ready to shoot with no wasted motion, no wasted time, no chance for the defense to recover. Here I'm going to drop that dribble out of my hands and I'm going to do the same type of move but this time crossing over in front of my body. Just keeping that dribble low, keeping my hips low. So I'm going to drop that dribble right off the right hand, start my bounce, then quickly cross right back over to the left and pull up for the shot before my defender has a chance to be able to gather. I want to get him on his heels, get him backed up, defending my dribble. Then that quick crossover, I'm going to raise up the shoot before he can get up in the air. left side I'm gonna start that dribble in the left hand then a quick crossover notice that I'm staying low dropping my hips drop your butt down to the floor quick crossover back over to the right and notice how I'm jumping into that cross so it's a hop move into the crossover so when the dribble ends and that ball gets back up to my right hand notice that my feet are already in shooting position and I'm ready to shoot by the time the dribble ends Timing really important on this with your footwork. Make sure that your pivot foot stays down so that ball has left your hand. I attack out of that triple threat with a high rip through move, then one dribble and into a snatch back. So I got my defender in recovery mode trying to stay in front of me after I rip through right past his head with that ball. He has to recover. While he's recovering, I'm into the snatch back already. By the time the snatch back dribble gets up to my hands, I'm already raising up to shoot and it's over. going to the left side now left foot is the jab foot I'm gonna rip high with that left hand or you can rip low and I'm gonna snatch it 
under the leg and raise up the shoot. Snatch back could also go in front of your body. You could also go behind your back with the snatch. It doesn't matter. Whatever way works for you or that situation, be able to do all three if you can and make sure you knock down the shot. Hey, witness on the beat. So I'm going to jab hard to the right side. This time I'm going to take two dribbles into a jump stop. Jab right, attack left, two dribbles. And with that jump stop, I'm going to try to raise that ball up near shoulder height, protect it with two hands. Once I get my second hand on it, jump stop and land on two feet, then go up strong and finish with the short shot there. So if you could jump stop all the way to the rim, you do it. If you want to shoot a pull-up jumper, you can do that too. Just make sure you finish. Jab stepping hard to the left side this time. Hard jab to the left, two dribbles to the right. Protect that ball with two hands, jump and land on two feet, finishing at the basket off the jump stop. So jab step hard. Make sure you protect that ball on the jab step. Watch your footwork. Keep your pivot foot down to that ball's left your hand. Keep that foot glued to the floor. Here I'm just going to take one simple dribble out of triple threat position, then use the hesitation step into my shot. One dribble, hesitation step. So I'm taking a big step with the ball side foot, which means the defender has to play that because I might drive past him if he doesn't play it. He overplays it and doesn't disrespect the fact that I might drive on him, then you go ahead and drive on him. This is all stuff that you read right there in the moment. He respects it as he should. He steps back, gets on his heels, you shoot. Jabbing with the left foot this time. I'm going to take one dribble, and then I'm going to go into the hesitation step with the left foot. So watch how my left hand stays to the side of that ball there as I take that step. The defender has to play the fact that I might drive past them, get them on their heels, get them to take even a half step backwards or even just lean his weight backwards. That's enough for me to raise up and shoot because he won't be able to elevate fully to challenge my shot. Then all you got to do is finish the job by knocking down that shot. Thumbs up or like this vid. Any questions, leave me a comment. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com Coach Christian Grudeli from Europe, work on your game.